So, what is the Dioino system? I heard recently on a Space Windu channel on Saber Talk, which is a great channel by the way, you should check it out if you haven't. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, he was explaining what is the Dioino board. Um, it's another open source board. I've talked about it a lot on my channel, but there seems to be, I don't know, they're still not all that well known. I think uh, the Profi board is taking a lot of the spotlight on the open source side. So I just thought I'd make this quick video and explain when people say a Dioino, what exactly is it that they mean? A Dioino is a very specific uh, set of components that when paired together, you can make uh, a prop board. Uh, people usually use them for lightsabers, but really you could use them for any sort of prop. So you start with an Arduino Nano, and that's gonna be the main processor for your system. And then you add an MPU6050, which is an accelerometer and a gyro all in one. So you can measure rotational velocity and you can measure acceleration. So you get your motion data that way. And then you add in a DF player mini, which will play back the sounds. This is capable of taking an SD card, reading wave files and playing back the sounds. So you just take your components and then you wire them all together. Obviously this is this diagram that I'm showing is simplified, but you take the motion data from the sensor, you run it through your code on the Arduino Nano, and then that tells the, the DF Player Mini when to play sounds and what sounds to play. And that's a serial interface, but I won't get into that in this video. So once you've got that worked out, you basically just add a speaker to it and then you add a MOSFET so you can drive higher loads, and then you add your high-powered LED, and that's it. That's the Arduino um, Dioino architecture. Now, where it gets a little bit confusing is there's a lot of different ways to mash this up. Uh, our Andres put out some boards. Uh, the Dio, he called them the Dioino boards. This is his architecture. He invented this. Um, it's kind of similar to uh, and and a little inspired by my early Arduino system that I put together that used the same kind of paradigm where you had a sound chip, an Arduino, and a sound chip. Now, I use different components, and the ones that Andres chose are arguably better. Um, so they've become more popular, and I've adopted it myself. Now, Andres started making all-in-one boards that take all of these components all, that are on these breakout boards and he engineered a circuit board, several circuit boards, and there's been a bunch of generations of them that they're basically all just rely on this same basic architecture though. They've gotten smaller and more power efficient. And he's done lots of magic things that you can do with your electrical engineer. Um, but it's basically the same thing. It functions the same way. There's also rider boards made like the Brew board by Saber Republic, uh, which I made a video uh, about that a little while ago. It's just a rider board. That you can take all these components and solder them on, and it's easier than trying to do it yourself with wires or, or some kind of other circuit board that you might try to make yourself. It's already made. It's got all the FETs and everything all built into it. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. So anytime you hear someone say, you know, they're talking about the yeah, Arduino at least in the Sabre context, this is what they mean. So I hope that clears up confusion about what Dioino actually is. You can buy these components on your own. Um, you can get a lot of this stuff on eBay or various electronics hobby sites. But obviously the, the creme de la creme is one of the ProtoWorks stat boards that puts all of these components in one small, easy to install package. You could also choose to do NeoPixel with this um, and there's lots of different things you can do. This is one of the er very first original and still honestly pretty popular and cheap programmable Sabre soundboards. That's the Dioino architecture. I hope that helps clear up some confusion. Um, if you haven't had a chance, uh, try it out. These components are pretty cheap. Um, lots of software available for it. Uh, so that's it. As always, thanks for watching.